Hi guys, good afternoon. Uh, this is Dr. Satya Bama here for Ra Online. And um, today the topic is local anesthesia, neurophysiology and mode of action. It is a very boring topic, I know. Anyway, uh, we have to talk about it, right? This is one of the most important topics that talks about the different types of local anesthetic agents, classifies them, and then it tells you how these LA work, how does it work, what are the theories of local anesthesia, and uh, how do they act, you know, the basic action potential and all that. Now, I'm not going to go into the, into the depth of what I'm going to say. That's there for you to have a look at that. And uh, the first thing is to talk about what are... Uh, what is it used for? What is it? Okay, Med local circumscribed area of anesthesia. Okay, is local an local anesthesia. Okay, it is one of the methods which is used for the pain control and to provide a painless treatment, giving comfort to the patient. In 1853, Alexander Wood used a hollow metal needle. All right. Then in cocaine was the one that was, it was the first anesthetic agent. It was used, can you believe? It was used as an anesthetic agent taken from the leaves of the cocoa tree and we thought, ah, this is nice. This is nice. Have you seen how Shishruta had worked? You've seen those posters, big, big posters. You know, people will be holding, they'll be tied to the, he'll be lying down flat. Shishruta will be at the head, head end with a big axe and a big knife. Okay. And that is how surgery started. All right. Um, from there on, I think we moved on to very sophisticated methodologies that we have done. Uh, well, talk to me about nature. Tell me about it. Nature is taking its vengeance on the problems that we are causing onto it uh, with our COVID. But that's all right. That's all right. We are moving a lot of way across the board here. In the third or the fourth slide. Let's not move, let's not get distracted. Okay. So this is how we started. Cocaine was the first local anesthetic agent that was there. Then we went on to a demonstration by Carl Kohler. Then procaine was introduced in 1905. Now a little bit more. Um, the anesthetic properties were first identified by Biberfield and brought into practice by Braun. And lidocaine came in the 20th century in 1948. You do know in India, lignocaine is, you know, uh, when we talk about local anesthesia, oh, do you have lignocaine? Do you have lidocaine? That is how we ask. That's become synonymous to a local anesthetic agent, though it is only a group, a type of drug that is being used. It was first described by Lofgren in 1948. But then it has become very synonymous to us because that is what is more predominantly used, mostly used, 99% used, okay? Yeah, articane is there, we have bipivacane, but then we um, are not very comfortable with the quinolin derivative, but we do have bipivacane and articane, especially when you're dealing with um, where we want to give more bone anesthesia, we go for articane and you want a prolonged uh, anesthetic uh, anesthesia, then you go for bupivacaine, all right? Now, in 1949, God brought about the uh, anesthetic properties. Thereafter, we had a series of the anesthetic properties coming in, okay? So, anesthesia is caused by an anesthetic agent, the local anesthetic agent, and local or pres prescribed or a circumscribed area of anesthesia will be your local anesthesia. You can... There are different methodologies, okay? You can use irritants, you can use uh, neurolytic agents, chemical agent is what we use. And so, if any agent is introduced as an agent, then what are its ideal properties? What it should be doing? It should be very compatible with the tissues that you are using and they are giving inside. It should not cause any cross reactions. It should not alter or do the function or the, the anatomy of the area that it is injected to. It should have a very low systemic toxicity and it should start just like that. It should not wait for an hours together. It doesn't work like that, isn't it? So it should, the onset should be uh, faster. The time period should be quite long enough for it to be working and it should also not leave any toxic residuals inside. <music>